Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Yansa's Universe. It is me, Yansa. So you guys, this is gonna be an all signs reading. This is who is coming towards you. Who's coming towards you? Okay, it could be who or what because some of you may be single, but who's coming towards my all signs? All the way from Aries to Pisces. Okay, you guys, I've done a couple of all signs readings for you. I wanna take the time out to really appreciate you guys. I thank you so much. I've been here more often. Y'all see my ass more often, okay? Um, the rest of you guys' is monthlies are um, going to be uploaded by, by the end of the week, okay? But let's jump into it, guys. Holy Spirit, holy angels, protect me as I go within the tarot. Please keep me safe. Ancestors, please orchestrate this reading. Close all doors so no negativity sneaks in. Return to sender any and all negativity and no weapon that's formed against me shall prosper. Please give me clear on these messages for all signs, all zodiac signs. Who is coming towards all signs? All the way from Aries to Pisces. Thank you, universe. Ashe. Okay, you guys. Let's get it started. Aries. Aries. Remember, these are general, you guys. Not every message is going to resonate. It could be backwards. Could have already happened. Could be happening now. Could happen in the near future. If the messages don't resonate, get a personal reading by a reader you trust or check your other signs or check back with me, okay? All right, Aries. Let's jump into it. Let me split the deck. Who's coming towards Aries? The Eight of Pentacles. More money. Okay, you could be working more. An earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who's coming towards Aries? Who's coming towards Aries? Somebody very handsome, very beautiful, very sexy. Okay, could be an earth sign. Look, the Page of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. I hear that they, they bring you that spark back. A lot of money, Aries. A lot of money, a lot of celebration. It's like... I don't know what you do. People hate on, people don't like that. It's like you got the finest chick at work or you got the finest dude at work or you got the raise, you got the promotion or the big boss likes you, the big boss comes to you, the big boss is lenient on you. I'm hearing you have so much favor. People hate it. They can't stand it. You have so much favor. Okay, they're jealous of you. You're loved. You're, you are divinely loved. Oh my gosh, you are loved. Knight of Cups, Judgment, the Lovers. You are loved, okay? And the sun when I split the deck. Yeah, like this is your season, Aries. A lot of spiritual karma, justice, good karma, good things happening to you. People doing, I hear this is a favor. Somebody's doing you a favor, a really big favor. Somebody's like, all right, I'll do it for you this one time. I don't know if they're giving you some type of money, loan, grant, scholarship, stipend, some type of bonus. And they say, keep it a secret. Keep it a secret. Okay? Or they're going to give it to you and you don't even know who's doing it. It could be a Pisces. A Libra, Taurus with the Empress. Look, this is a gift. Nine of Pentacles. So beautiful. So beautiful. It's going to help you travel. So I heard you didn't have a car. I heard you may have been immobile. It's going to help you move around. Somebody's giving you something that helps you get back on your feet. Or you're doing this for someone. Get back on your feet. Okay? Beautiful. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I see a lot of money. Queen of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. All right? I know that wasn't anything in love, but that's what I saw coming towards you, Aries. Y'all know the deal. It's who or what is coming towards you. Come on, Taurus. Who or what is coming towards my Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. Could be a fire sign, a, a message, good news. Okay? An Aries, Leo, or Sag. You could be traveling or someone is traveling towards you. The hangman. It could be a Pisces. Somebody you haven't talked to in a long time. Somebody you thought it was over. The world card, here they come again with the sun and the ace of pentacles. So I'm hearing you put money into a stock or bond and 
it didn't get you money at first. You thought, you know what, I shouldn't have invested in this. I shouldn't have put my time and effort in this. And then boom, you get you get some type of currency, some type of funding. So I hear a notification. I check your notification, check your email, check your spam. Somebody's trying to get in contact with you. They're trying to reach you on how to give you this. Somebody's giving you something too. Yeah, Eight of Wands, the magician. Yeah, it could be a Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sag. You have money coming too, Taurus. This is you. You're trying to reach someone. You have them blocked. They have you blocked. Clarify the hangman. It could be a Pisces, Virgo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. Clarify the hangman. The emperor, a boss, judgment. Somebody's giving you a second chance. Okay, at first you were denied, but this denial was for your protection. Now you're going to be you're going to be approved. Clarify the hermit. Yeah, the wheel of fortune, six of cups. This is a gift. A soulmate is coming as well, so you get love and money. Clarify the world. You're going to be traveling. New cycle. Yeah. <laughs> this you right here. The, the hair fit. Your energy, Taurus or Libra. This is beautiful. A soulmate is coming in. We have judgment. The emperor. The hangman. The hermit. The wheel of fortune. The world. The hair fit. The sun. All majors. This is a big major change. That's what's coming towards you. A big major change. Are you going to reconcile with this person? Are you going to end the cycle? Because you have money on the way too. Come on, Gemini. Who or what is coming towards Gemini? Who or what is coming towards Gemini? Who or what is coming towards Gemini, please? What can you tell me? The five of swords, conflict and defeat, but this is your energy. Is it in regard to money? I hear place your bets. Place your bet. This is you. Gemini, the magician. Virgo, Gemini, energy. Place your bets. Okay, you're going to get the truth about something. But the three of swords, you're going to get the truth about some type of money. I hear... Somebody's get somebody's cutting you a deal. Somebody's cutting you a deal in some type of money. Somebody's cutting you a deal in some type of I, I don't know if it's a plea bargain. Somebody's cutting you some type of deal, but you might not want to take it. You feel like they're lowballing you. You want more money. Don't be greedy, Gemini. Clarify the five of swords. You may have to pay child support. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. I don't see you trying to do anything good with this money anyway. But you think that about the other person cutting you the deal. But they think that about you. So both of you think that about each other. They're not going to do right with the money. It could be your baby mom or vice versa. It could be your baby dad. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. The lovers. You're more you. You could be dealing with another Gemini or somebody else with Gemini in their chart. So maybe you have to split the money up with you, you and your spouse, you and a lover. Clarify the magician. Clarify the magician. The page of pentacles keeps coming out. So what you don't see coming towards you is a child, child support. But I see money too. Ten of pentacles, page of pentacles, queen of pentacles. This could be your wife or your husband or significant other. There's a lot of money here within the family. So I get there's some type of family inheritance that's going to have to be set up between you and the kids, you and who, somebody else. Clarify the three of swords. Clarify the three of swords. The king of cups. And then the ten of cups. We have two tens, ten of pentacles, ten of cups. This is the family 
this is long money this is like big money not just your regular by yourself money this is money from some other resources that's been put together could be your baby mom or baby dad with this Taurus or Libra I can't get past it I hear a financial advisor clarify all of this what's coming who or what is coming towards Gemini the chariot so you could be buying a new car a cancer is telling you what to do or how to do it you could be telling a cancer what to do or how to do it so you're buying a new car <laughs> maybe you feel like the sales the sales rep the car salesman is trying to jip you out of a deal and you're trying to talk them down basically you're trying to upgrade your life that's what's coming towards you what about in love i see the lovers right here Justice in the Nine of Wands reverse. Things are going to be made balanced. Things are going to be made fair. But that's all I see. I don't see any anyone talking. I don't see any of that. Um, I don't see... I didn't see a lot of cups either. All right, Gemini. That's all I have for you. Cancer. Who or what is coming toward my cancer? I'm sorry, Gemini. I know that probably wasn't... Oh, well. I'll do another reading for y'all another time. Come on, Cancer cancer who or what is coming towards cancer what can you tell me the two of swords indecision it could be a libra as well five of swords conflict and defeat and argument an argument and then an apology right after ace of cups somebody's mad at you because they're in love with you but you left them out or they left you out Six of Wands, why aren't you giving me attention? Why aren't you giving me love? Why did you block me? I, I love you. Do you not love me back? This person is pissed, but they're trying to hold their temper with the temperance card. They're trying to hold their temper. A lot of twos. Two of Cups, two of Swords, two of Pentacles. A lot of needing to make a decision where you're going to move. Are we going to move here? Are we going to move there? Are we arguing about making a decision i thought you loved me do you not clarify the two of swords the knight of cups well why don't you show me you love me you too busy being in and out in the streets you and then whoa knight of cups knight of wands knight of swords three people knight of pentacles right after that you fucking kidding me what is this? A lot of walking away. We have four knights here. So I hear four knights, as in day and night, four nights. Maybe you spent four nights with this person. Four times. We do have the four of cups. Somebody's lying, cheating, stealing, keeping things secret, keeping things hidden about a marriage they could be married or in another commitment they have a lot of options and they they're confused and they've been confusing you here's the queen of pentacles they have something stable somewhere else the moon card they're hiding it from you it could be a cancer and boom it explodes right in your face or in their face this may have been something that happened in the past and this is why you blocked this person and you stopped talking to them with the hangman because this was too hard and too stressful i hear do you still love me do you still love me? Five of Wands. This person could have been cheating with up to five people. Could have cheated up to five times. You could have took this person back up to five times, four or five times. Is this the last time? Clarify the Page of Cups and Ace of Cups. You have the Page of Cups, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. There's a new person coming. But I see you're still stuck on the past person. You just want to argue with them. You're not done. You're not done getting out what you need to say. That's why you keep going back to the past person. I'm not done. There's more that I need to get off my chest. I should have said this a long time ago. Do you secretly want to heal with them? It's an Aquarius. I do see another person coming in to make you happy. But you keep blocking this person out. You're still confused. You don't have the clarity. You don't have the closure.
All right. I see you are going through another cycle with this person, Cancer. Here they come. Be careful what you wish for. All right, Leo. Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. The, you other Cancers, y'all are single. Y'all got a bunch of people who want to um, date y'all. We saw all the nights. So y'all could be single, dating around, doing you, living the single life. All right, Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Who or what is coming towards my Leo? Another Leo. All right. Who or what is coming towards Leo? What do you have? The Queen of Pentacles, something solid and stable. It could be an earth sign. You don't see them coming. You don't see yourself giving them another chance. It is over. But they love you. <laughs> I hear, I love you, okay? We have the Knight of Cups, the King of Wands. You're still sexually attracted to them. They're still sexually attracted to you. This, You feel like this person is your soulmate, but it's toxic than a bitch. Wow, I didn't see that one coming. The Hangman, it's... Let me see. If you can get past this stagnant energy, because I see this person comes in real hot and heavy, and then boom, you're still at a standstill. It never goes anywhere. You get stuck with this person. You're stuck. The devil and the hangman. It's like you play with a clown. What they say, you play with the clown and the clown comes back to bite you or back to attack or whatever, some shit. You entertain bullshit. Bullshit comes right back to you. Unfortunately, this person is a bunch of bullshit. They put you through too much. Will you be able to get past this? Will of Fortune, can you work together? Three of Pentacles. Can you move past everything that happened? Can you forgive? Can you guys be solid and stable? Is this person already married? You have the five of swords, conflict and defeat. All you do is argue and you blow up at each other and you leave each other and stop talking and you hold back. That's all you do. It's a cycle. You ghost each other. You, you could be dealing with a Virgo. The ghost is back. They want to make things right, things balanced, things fair. Ten of cups. Does this person have a family already? A secret family? A secret family. Are they already married? Do they want this with you? We got the ten of cups, three of cups, six of pentacles. Three of Swords. No. Oh, this so you have a polygamist coming towards you. This person thinks they can have their cake and eat it too. Nine of Cups get what they want from you and still be distant and walk away. This is a cycle. And then give you a little bit, a little, a little bit, a little bit more. <sighs> Leo. Who or what is coming toward my Leo? Here you are again. Hold back. Hold back, Leo. See what happens when you hold back. You always give this person a chance. You always entertain this person. See what happens when you don't. Virgo. Who's coming towards my Virgo? Who or what is coming towards Virgo? Who or what is coming towards Virgo? The Ace of Swords, Truth, Clarity, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You want a second chance with someone. Someone wants a second chance with you. They want victory. They want success. They want your attention. They love you. They have emotion for you. They're going to tell you sorry. They're going to tell you, can we try again? Going to want to take a leap of faith with you. Messages, good news. Okay, about a Scorpio, an ending, a transformation. Somebody's been sad about this ending. They do still love you. I see new love as well. Knight of Wands coming. Could be a... Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. A lot of fire, a lot of water. Okay. You guys are going to be traveling together. You're going to meet this person while you're out somewhere. This is someone you stopped talking to. Someone that you had to think about. You took a lot of time thinking about this. You're heartbroken too. You can be dealing with the Leo. We all kind of have the same energy. You are missing this person and this person is missing you, but I don't know if it's going to work. You have the love, but you don't trust each other. You don't trust each other's morals. You don't trust each other's beliefs and values.
So I do see clarity and communication. I do see you attempting to reconcile with someone. It looks like it does um, bring you a sense of success. But we have the Page of Wands and Page of Cups. I don't know if it's, I don't know if the efforts are big enough. If, if they're giving enough, doing enough, you want Empress status. You are on Empress status. The Devil card. You're def you could definitely be dealing with the Capricorn, Taurus, Libra, or a Leo. Leo had the Devil as well. Y'all are the only two signs that had the Devil. You're obsessed with this person. They're obsessed with you. But something there's something that just never comes together when it comes to you guys. So it's not now it's just like, is it just a sex thing or can I have long term stability with them? I do see you um I do see you presented with the opportunity to find out. All right, Libra. Who or what is coming toward my Libra? What can you tell me? What is coming toward my Libra? Who or what is coming toward Libra? Who or what is coming toward Libra? A Capricorn to a Pentacles, an option, a decision on what to do, where to go, where to travel. Okay. One minute is one minute is going fast, the next minute is going slow. Hot and cold energy is what I hear. The King of Cups, you could be dealing with the water sign. Yeah, hot and cold. Hot and cold right here. When you're done with it, you're bored. You don't like that. You do not like that. Yeah, hot and cold. One minute, fun, exciting, wanting to take a leap of faith, travel, newness, and then the next minute holding back. Like, what is this? One minute it's over, the next minute we have a new cycle coming. You keep coming back to this person, but they keep not giving a lot. And y'all keep arguing. This person thinks that they're better than you. Y'all get in competitions. Y'all could be in the same sex relationship. I see the King of Wands and the King of Cups. Or this person, this person always, you don't like that this person is always being approached by other people. Yeah, you don't like being in competition. Two of Cups, Five of Wands, it's competition. You all, you're always like, why do I always have to compete for your love? Why aren't you putting me first? I should be your number one priority. And you think this person, this person, you think this person is really vain and you're like, your looks aren't gonna get you as far as you think. And you're realizing, well, maybe I've only been attached to this person because of their looks as well. And now I have, a, I've, I've spent so much time with this person and fallen in love with this person, but why am I still connected to them? Why am I still attracted to them? Who or what is coming toward my Libra? Seven of Cups, options, choices, a Cancer, Pisces, a Scorpio. You're going to be holding back. You don't trust it. You're fearful. Page of Wands. You might entertain it a little bit. You'll, you'll start opening up little by little. And then closing off again. It's too hard. You give it an opportunity. You give it a chance. And then it's too hard. The lovers, you have a strong attraction to it. It's a new person. It's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag, or a Gemini. You have a... Yeah, but... Somebody's very fluid sexually, so you could be bisexual. This person could be transgender. Like, it's something about you or this person's sexual orientation. The tower could be a Scorpio. And then the three of wands. More fire. So, you have, a, you have the opportunity to try something new with a different person, a new person. You are interested in it, but you're scared because you don't know. You don't want people to judge you or look at you different or weird. All right, Scorpio. Who or what is coming toward my Scorpio? Scorpio. Who or what is coming towards Scorpio? Who or what is coming towards Scorpio? The star healing it could be an Aquarius coming towards you 
definitely an Aquarius or a Libra Gemini. They want to travel with you. They say, hey, I want to talk to you. Hey, I got something to say. They probably haven't talked to you in a long time. They could be shy. They could have Virgo on their chart with the Hermit. Or they could be a Sagittarius. They're trying to make peace with you, but they just don't know how. They do have feelings for you, but they're not trying to show it. So there's a really shy person with the moon. Yes, they're shy. They're, there's a shy person who is trying to build up the courage to speak to you and express that they like you. I hear somebody just wants to tell you that you're beautiful. Somebody just wants to tell you, I've had a, a crush on you for the longest time. I've had such a big crush on you. I've always liked you. Clarify the hermit. Four of Wands, they want to be in a relationship. Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Six of Pentacles, ju uh, Justice. What you don't know is that this person has thought about long term with you. They thought about moving in. They've thought about joining the finances, the assets. They thought about being married with you. They fantasize about it. They're really shy. You would never know it. They don't show their emotions at all. They have a lot of love and emotions for you with the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups and the Moon card and the Four of Wands. So you have the Ace of Pentacles. So expect the unexpected, I hear. Expect the unexpected. I hear you don't, you don't even know who this person is. They find you very attractive. They're actually attractive as well. You may be like, what? You like me? Like, yeah, this is a really beautiful person. They're beautiful inside and out. And they have a lot of stability. I hear a lot of knowledge as well. But for some reason, I don't know if it's you or this person, they feel like you don't notice them. You feel like they don't notice you. Sagittarius. Ooh, look at this. That's beautiful. Sag. Sagittarius. Okay, who was that? Scorpio. Scorpio, that could have been a Leo. Or a Libra. Or a Virgo. All right, Sagittarius for real this time. Sagittarius. Who or what is coming towards my Sagittarius? Who or what is coming towards my Sagittarius? Sag, you still got the sun card coming out so that you you guys could be Scorpio Sagittarius cuz because the sun still came out. Who or what is coming towards Sagittarius? We got the four of cups. Somebody feeling left out. Then the emperor. It's because this person will not show their emotions. It could be you, Sag. We got the ten of cups, five of cups. Somebody always feels like they miss out. They're always two seconds late. They always miss this person by a hair. They always miss this person by two seconds. Clarify the Four of Cups. And then somebody's asking themselves, why am I this way? Why won't I let myself be happy? Why won't I let myself be happy? Ten of Cups. Five of Cups. It's like, why am I always getting half of what I deserve? Clarify the Four of Cups. You could be dealing with an Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, feeling left out. It's because you don't ever open up. You always have your arms folded. And that's like, I keep hearing you say, why am I this way? Or why are they like this? Why do you have to be like this? Clarify the emperor. The page of wands. This person is secretly immature on the inside. Very immature. We have the emperor, but underneath is this little child. Or this little, te this little teenager. I said to her, Libra, the Empress came out. Y'all have a child together. Y'all gonna have a baby. Somebody you can't stand. I hear I can't stand them. Oh, I can't stand them. Oh, I hate you. Well, no, hopefully y'all ain't telling each other y'all hate each other. But it's like, oh, I can't stand you. You love this person so much. It's like you get on my last nerve. Y'all... Oh my gosh. It's this person. I don't y'all don't have like super bad arguments, but it's like, oh, I can't stand you. You get on my nerves. And you secretly have a crush on this person. You like this person. But you both could be emotionally immature with this page of wands coming in between you. You could have a fire sign child. We have the Ten of Cups. This is family right here. We have the Five of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Was there a breakup, a separation? 
Y'all don't be putting this child in y'all arguments. Y'all can have two different parenting styles. Not everybody's a parent. I'm getting the other story still though. I can't stand Aries. Oh, he gets on my nerves. And Aries is like, oh, I can't stand Libra. Libra gets on my nerves. Or Taurus. Because we got the Emperor and Empress. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Judgment, Ace of Swords. Breakthrough and clarity. I love you. I still want to be with you. I still want a family with you. I want to work on this. Like, I hear, let's have another baby. Let's have another baby. Or let's have a baby. Okay. Sagittarius. Um, Capricorn. Who or what is coming toward my Capricorn? Who or what is coming toward Capricorn? Why do the Four of Cups keep coming out? Why? I'm shuffling the shit out of these cards. We got the Four of Cups, the Six of Wands. Will you accept this love offer or not? Do you want to be with this person? They're, they're super sexy, so I... And you have a lot of love for them. I get that you um, you could be in the same sex relationship, same sex marriage with the two of cups. Yeah. Then the nine of pentacles. Hold on. Let me get a story. Queen of pentacles. Three queens. Five of swords. Three of wands. Are you dating a polygamist as well? So this is what I'm hearing. This is what I'm getting. <sighs> Capricorn. Are you feeling a little stuck up, a little jaded? What did this person do? I'm getting you in this, and this is only, this could only be for like point one of you. So if this is not your story, don't take it. I'll, I'll say another story. Capricorn, the person that you're interested in or the person you're dating, both of you are very fucking petty. You two have competitions on who can date when y'all break up or when y'all are on a break or if y'all are just, you know, not talking at the time, you two have a competition to see who can um, deal with the most other people outside of the relationship. So it's like you've seen this person deal with multiple people while y'all were taking a break. They've seen you deal with multiple people while y'all were on a break. But y'all always come back together every time and talk about it it's weird all right for others of you because that's not everybody's story for others of you you don't trust you don't trust someone you don't trust that this child is yours you don't trust that this person is even pregnant you don't trust this Taurus or Libra you can't trust anything that comes out their mouth you feel like they're a liar and they're dramatic the, or if this person is pregnant, you can't stand being with this person because they're super hormonal and a bitch. All right. Yeah, six of wands, five of pentacles. Is this really what I wanted? Is this really what I asked for? Uh, are you trying to be single and go towards somebody else, a Gemini or a Virgo? It's like, who do I choose? I have three options. You have three options while someone while you have a baby mom as well. It's like, do I want to be with my baby mom or do I want to choose her or her or her? Do I want to be with my baby dad or do I want to choose him or him or him? Whoever the fuck, you know. Either way it goes, I do see new love coming towards you. I'm not even finna get into that. Okay. Aquarius. Damn. Aquarius. Who or what is coming toward my Aquarius? Aquarius. Who or what is coming toward Aquarius? Aquarius, I did your March um, monthly reading as well. Check that out. Okay. Who or what is coming toward Aquarius? Let me get these bitches shuffled. 
Who or what is coming towards Aquarius? Who or what is coming toward Aquarius? Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I saw the King of Cups. Okay. We have the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. New love. And they're rushing in. Could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or a Pisces. And you like, slow down. I feel like this person is coming on real strong. Six of Pentacles, like, slow down. This could be an X, Ten of Swords, Six of Cups. It's somebody you know. Somebody who's very distant. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So who's, so the person who's coming towards you could be an Aries. A uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, somebody who's very sexy. You've had sex with this person before. Well, I see you guys get along. We got the Emperor, Chariot, Knight of Cups, Queen of Wands. Then we got the Fool, King of Wands, Three of Cups. But what I see is you've met your match, Aries, or what this person don't know is they met their match. I see this person is coming on real hot and heavy, and you probably had sex with this person on the first, second, or third night. It don't matter. Shit, we sing we're single. But whatever. <laughs> we're single, but whatever y'all want to say. But um be careful with this person because they like to play a lot of games. They like to love bomb you. They like to come in all hot and heavy. And then you don't hear from them for three days. Or you don't hear from them for a whole week. And it's like, I just gave you my pussy last week. What the fuck? And you texting me these weird ass things, saying all types of manipulative ass things. This person is trying to mind fuck you, Aquarius. Be careful with them. Yeah, they're fun, but they're not fun for a long time. They're immature. You feel a connection with this person because they do something for you. I'm not sure what it is that they do for you, Aquarius, but they do something for you. I guess it's the sense of fun or the sense of excitement or for you do it for them. The sense of fun or the sense of excitement. You like that you, you, you have somebody that makes you get out the house. I don't want to be in the house. I want to be single. I want to have some fun. I look good. I want to show somebody I look good. What's wrong with that? But you, there's still something missing. Four of Cups. They don't, they, you're, you're starving emotionally. Okay. It'll be fun while it lasts, Aquarius. But be careful with this motherfucker because I get that they could be crazy. And when you try to stop talking to them, they always pop up. Okay. Pisces. Pisces. Who or what is coming toward my Pisces? Pisces. Who or what is coming toward Pisces? Pisces, please. There you go. Some type of secret success. I hear celebrity overnight. Yeah, literally overnight because the Four of Swords rests overnight. Celebrity overnight. What's that? The Seven of Wands? Here, lock your window. Lock your windows. Make sure your door is locked. Okay, a Virgo could be coming towards you. The hermit came out. I hear something in secret in the dead of night. Make sure when you're when you get in your car, you lock your door. Roll your window up. When you get out the car, lock your door, roll your window up. The hermit keeps coming out. Somebody's watching you. Somebody's watching you. I hear a private investigator. A hermit or a cancer could be watching you. Yes, somebody's watching you, watching your car. It could be the law. Be careful because I get that you may feel like something is lost, but it's really been stolen. Never heard of this. I hear a restraining order. Yeah. A restraining order. You might have to help one of your friends or... I hear it's a child. A teenager. Y'all want to hear something? Here's a story that happened to my sister. So, me and my sisters were meeting up. She was, um, I think she got 
she went to Smoothie King or something. She was walking out and getting in her car. When she got in her car, um, she opened the door. She got in. She had enough. She didn't have enough time to lock the door. But a teenage girl, a little girl, um, jumped in the car with her. Jumped in the car with my sister and was like, please help me. I'm being stalked. Please help me. I'm being followed. This is real life. That shit that has really happened, y'all. And so she's like, what's going on? Do you need me to drop you off somewhere? A man comes up to my sister's car and is tapping on the window. And the girl is like, oh, this is my friend. I was meeting up with her, like pretending like my sister is her friend. So I don't know if somebody needs your help, Pisces. Like... Just be really, just be really in tune to the energy that's around you, Pisces, because I don't know if somebody's watching, stalking, looking. I don't know, but that's the energy that I get. The hermit card keeps coming out. There's somebody who's watching. Oh, yeah, here's the restraining order I see. You see, the strength card is restraining. Nine of Wands restraining. Then we have the King of Cups looking at this Page of Wands, this older person looking at this younger person. Okay, let me do another one. Who or what is coming toward my Pisces? Who or what is coming toward my Pisces? I hear you could be finally open up, opening up to your mom about something, one of your relatives or your dad or somebody did to you as a child. Or your children is opening up to you about something that happened. Please be open to hearing and helping, Pisces. Okay. Somebody needs you. They need your support. They need your help. Who or what is coming towards my Pisces? Maybe you need help. You could be trying to open up to someone. Who or what is coming toward Pisces? The Knight of Swords communication. It could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Okay, a masculine energy. Somebody could be giving you money, good advice, a loan. Okay, they love you. Somebody loves you. Yes, I'll help you. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone I've had this money saved. Hmm. So y'all could be sneaking somewhere. We got the King of Swords. Could be same sex. We got the King of Pentacles, King of Swords. I hear you're getting advice, good counsel. You could have, your parents could be two men or two women. Ace of Pentacles. I do see money, a payout, a settlement. The Nine of Pentacles is going to, it's going to, this is going to be long, long money. Long money. I don't know what's going on. Long money. This money is here to stay. Then the, what is this? Something goes in your favor. The King and Queen of Pentacles. With the Empress, Four of Wands, you get a new house, a new car. New house, new car, new new everything. So I hear you're testifying. You're testifying against someone. Why do I keep getting something legal for you, Pisces? All right. I'm going to read the cards for the face value. The Knight of Swords is communication. Somebody's coming in to talk to you. They do want to marry you or be with you. They have the we have the king and queen of pentacles for you, Pisces. So this is a, a relationship. A relationship is coming towards you. They have a lot of love for you. With the moon card, they they seem to hold back a lot with the moon and the seven of pentacles. Um, they hold back the fact that they actually do have a lot of money. Maybe this in the past, this person uh was used for their money in the in the past. This person could have kids. But I see that they want to move in with you. This person is single, single. But here's my relationship card right here. And a lot of money, growth and expansion. All right, let's do a collective. What do you have for my collective, please? What messages do you have for my collective? Ooh, King of Pentacles. Okay, Big Daddy. Okay, Big Mama. Knight of Pentacles. So, King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. You're being you're being a mentor. People are watching you. Look, 
people wish they could be like you. Do you see how this Knight of Pentacles is looking at the king? I'm going to be him one day. I'm going to be her one day. I'm going to be just like them. You're a role model. Somebody is looking up to you or you're looking up to someone. You are a role model, the high priestess. And you, you don't even know people see you in this light. Okay? The things you think you do in secret has a big impact on people. I see the seven of swords though. So there is something being done in secret. Some type of money. Celebration. Relationship. Are you getting back with someone and keeping it on the hush? Clarify the seven of swords. Because we got the seven of swords and the high priestess. Secrets. Nine of swords. Something is stressing you or someone else out. Seven of Wands, King of Swords. There's somebody who might want to come for your position. So this person, what you don't know is their admiration is really jealousy. The lines have blurred. Now I feel like this person doesn't just look up to you. They do want to be you. I said that. I said that in the beginning. I want to be like him. I want to be like her. I want to be him. I want to be her. You see how intense this knight of pentacles is looking at the king of pentacles Ooh, keep your circle tight because this person will do things or say things and you kind of peep like what, what the fuck you kind of peep it like this person will say little sneak disses they're misplacing the their insecurities they're insecure whenever they come around you they feel less than when they come around you because they look up to you, but they want to be you. But it's just petty shit, y'all. You guys are going to be victorious with the chariot card. It's this petty shit. I hear, what's new? What's new? <laughs> For my collective. Yeah, the Knight of Cups, a lot of suitors. Then we have the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. You're a mentor. I hear you can have three sons. The King of Pentacles is a father to the Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. You can have three sons, three daughters, three mentees. I hear you could be... Somebody wants you to talk to somebody, mentor someone, console someone, advise someone. This could be something you want to do. Strength in the Ten of Swords. Clarify strength in the Ten of Swords. I hear somebody, so somebody really feels like they are part of your family, but you put up healthy boundaries against this person. And this person feels like, this person thinks you're mean because you have healthy boundaries. It's like, it just comes with the territory. I have to protect myself. I have to have these boundaries. And you don't understand why this person does not understand that. They think you're hurting them on purpose. I feel like this person is obsessive, desperate to be with you, desperate to be you, wants to all, like, I'm gonna tell y'all um, something about, well, never mind, forget it. it was, I don't know. But you know, when it's, it's, it's not even, it's the energy, you guys. Say you let somebody borrow something, you ask them for it back, they get pissy about it. And you, you let them borrow it. You didn't let them have it. You asked them for it back. This person is like, why? You gave it to me. You let me wear it. You let me have it. And it's like, it, I never let you, I never said you could have it and I like it back. It's mine. Then it's like, are we arguing about the thing that I gave you or are you upset about something else? Okay. This person wants to feel close to you in any way possible. Okay. That's all I have for you, Collective. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Uh, all the all signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I did your March monthly readings already. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I did your monthly readings already. Taurus and Virgo. I did your monthly readings already. I will do the rest of you guys tonight, tomorrow. Everything should be done by Saturday. And check out all of your all signs readings. You can like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, leave me a love donation, book a personal reading with me. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Let me know if it resonated with you. Okay. And then until I see you again, check out all your other readings. I love you guys. Be safe. Bye.